In this video, we will be looking at how to complete the square on a standard form of a quadratic equation to get the vertex form of the equation. Then we're going to graph the parabola, give the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the domain, and the range. Our first step when we're completing the square is to write this function as y equals. So we have y equals 2x squared plus x minus 6. Um, we cannot complete the square as long as the lead coefficient is a number other than 1. So I need to divide by 2 to get that off of there. So I now have y over 2 equals, these cancel, and I have x squared. I'll also need to use the coefficient of x separate from x, so I'm going to write this as 1 half x. And then the negative 6 over 2 I'm going to write as negative 3, and I'm going to move it over a little bit. My next step is to take the coefficient of x and half it, then square that result, and then add it and subtract it. So um, let's take the 1 half, the coefficient of my x, multiply that by 1 half, and I'll get 1 fourth, then square that value. I'll have 1 16th, and then I'm going to add that and subtract it from the right side of my equation. So plus 1 16th and minus 1 16th. Now I know that that looks like, well, why do that? They're just going to cancel each other off. But in our next step, we're going to take this um, trinomial right here and factor it and then we're going to combine these two terms. So we needed this 1 16th to make this trinomial a perfect square trinomial. Let me copy y over 2 and then this perfect square trinomial then factors into x plus Remember that we always square root the first term to get our first term in the binomial. Then we take this operation from the middle term and then square root this last term in the trinomial for this one. Doing the math here, we get this is 3 over 1. So we'll multiply top and bottom by 16 to get a common denominator. We have negative 48 over 16 and a negative 1 over 16, so now I have a negative 49 over 16. My last step is to multiply through by 2 to get this back to y equals. And these two will cancel, and I have y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 1 fourth squared minus um, 49 eighths. All right, let's take a look at this vertex form and I'm going to rewrite this as x subtract a negative 1 4 and then 49 over 8 is the same as 6 and 1 eighth. So I can see then my vertex is going to be the point negative 1 4 negative 6 and 1 eighth. I also need to give my axis of symmetry 
a bit. Going to be x equals negative one fourth. Now these numbers are different, so I want to show you uh, one other thing that helps with graphing. Um, let's see. negative one-fourth and negative six, seven, two, negative four, six. So our vertex is going to be right about here. I need to label that since it is um, a little odd. My vertex is negative one fourth, negative six and one eighth. Now I could uh, struggle with, I do know that uh, my graph is going to open up and it's going to be stretched two times as tall. So I could find my y values and, and multiply by two. But what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to find my I'm going to find my x intercepts. We can take my standard form of my equation and get my a, b, and c. So let me rewrite that. It was y equals 2x squared plus x minus 6. So remember, to get your x-intercept, you let y equal 0. So I have 0 equals 2x squared plus x minus 6. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 1, and C is equal to negative 6. Let's get our um, x-intercepts by using quadratic formula. So x equals a negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So X equals negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1. And then I have two minuses back here, so that's plus. 4 times 2 is 8, times 6 is 48 all over 4. So I have negative 1 plus or minus root 49 over 4. Negative 1 plus or minus 7 over 4. So it looks like um, x is equal to Negative 1 plus 7 is 6 over 4, which is 3 halves. And negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8 over 4, which is negative 2. So my x-intercepts are 1 and a half and negative 2. Well, that gives us two points.
and they're pretty far away from my vertex. But I can draw my graph 